Kenya is about to join the League of Countries with Central Bank Digital Currencies. The Central Bank of Kenya said the use of a central bank currency has the potential to enhance uh, cross-border payments by making it more efficient and less costly. Let's uh, uh, talk to Steve Ogutu now, development expert right there in Nairobi. Uh, great to have you, Steve. Uh, thanks for having me, Nadi. It's always yeah. a pleasure to, to be on so, the show. Yeah, so this is quite interesting because I know in Kenya, you know, mobile money has taken root, but some say the proposed value solution offered by uh, CBDC is, in, is already met in, in Kenya. What do you think? Right. I mean, in Kenya, mobile money has really, um, is really depend. You know, we have products such as the m -Pesa, that has really made uh, uh, improved, you know, financial access to many people across the country and even the region. Just last year, known, uh, the Central Bank of Kenya released a report that indicated over $30.3 billion were transacted or, through mobile money. And so it, it got to show uh, the potential that, that, that this, uh, this, 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 this digital uh, financial service is offering already in Kenya here. But I think even beyond that, they move by CBK to uh, work on introducing the CD, uh, the central bank digital uh, currency. I think it's a good move. Uh, right now we have the emergence of uh, uh, the, the digital economy is rapidly growing across the, the, the continent and the world. You know, we've had countries like Nigeria that recently adopted uh, uh, this this great initiative, and so I think that it, that the CD 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 uh, should really focus on you know coming up with innovative ways that are not being addressed by by the mobile money. Uh, look at uh, focus on the functionality aspect of it. And, and make it uh, very user-friendly, uh, address the unique needs of, of the forgotten uh, uh, se sectors and clients, as it were. Quite interesting, but what do you think are some of the challenges with uh, CBDCs? Right, I think the biggest challenge, and I think this is the challenge that most countries are, are grappling with across the globe, is, is the cybersecurity, right? So it poses a threat to, 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 to cyber attacks and all that. And also, I think the issue of data privacy is also something that we really cannot wish away. But even beyond that, there is always the danger of, of money laundering. That is a big problem. And I think there are many countries across the globe right now that are trying to grapple with how, do, how, how to address uh, uh, money laundering, especially with the emergence of uh, uh, digital economy platforms such as the cryptocurrency and all these, uh, all, all these uh, uh, stuff that are coming out. I think that's that's the major problem. And and also, you know, one good thing about the blockchain is, you know, most of the transactions, you know, are out there for uh, everyone to see. But how how does Kenya start to, you know, benefit from all of this? Right. I think. I I think, of course, there's, there's, a, there's a very huge, huge benefit that comes with it. One of it, which you actually mentioned, is uh, uh, the, the transboundary uh, uh, transaction that is going to be enhanced. You know, uh, it, uh, things are going to be a bit efficient when it comes to making payments uh, and stuff like that. And when that happens, then what it does is uh, it reduces the bureaucracy that comes with as uh, payment of some of these transactions, and that improves trade, you know, cross-border trade, which I think is really good for, for the Kenyan economy. But even beyond that, I wanted to say that um, it will also shorten the, the payment uh, methods, uh, you know, compared to what we're experiencing right now with the traditional banking, where you have to fill a lot of forms, there are certain procedures that have to be followed, you know. And, and you know, where we are heading to in this uh, decade of the 21st century, you know, speed is of the essence. When you talk about e-commerce, I mean, speed is, is of the essence. Right. So I think uh, it's going to really uh, uh, speed up 
and, okay. and grow up the economy uh, along those fronts. All right. All right, uh, Steve, we'll keep tracking to see how you know, it all plays out uh, after the launch, and uh, hopefully we'll see what it, it's going to be named also. All right, uh, Steve, we'll go to development and communication expert right there in Nairobi. Thank you so much for coming to the program. Enjoy the weekend. <music>